Okay, so in this video, I've uh, got involved in a couple of matches there from the Charleston Challenger. Um, I haven't recorded the commentary as I was trading it, so I'm going to try and remember what I was thinking. It's five days ago since I traded this. You can see I've already placed a lay at 139 on Christian. I was expecting, I think from memory, Gadecki to win this in three. You can see Christian's taken the first set, so I've laid the first set winner. Uh, let's see if Gadecki can uh, recover. Liquidity is pretty low, just 20,000 matched. You can see from the gaps between the prices, people are interested in the mat in the match. So it's five hundred lay, less than two hundred pound liability. Okay, so break point there. I genuinely don't remember exactly what I did. And this is the first time I'm watching the video through. Early days in the set, stats look like they're better for Gadecki. Hopefully at some point I will click over to this set uh, set one stats. Try and catch that if I do. Not a terrible start for Christian. So good he wasn't able to take the break point. I could have removed some of the liability when she had the break point, but I was uh, because I favoured her to win, I'm hopeful she is gonna make a recovery. Okay, still on serve. Just looking at the stats on the Bet365 window with a match 75 percent of points one on first serve for christian just 41 for gadecki so obviously i mean she lost a set six two so it wasn't a good first set did favor gadecki pre-match so at this point i was hoping that uh, as often happens the second set is going to be totally different to the first Sure, at some stage I will have looked at the set one stats having not traded the first set. And again, looking at the Bet365 stats, you can see that Gadecki has managed to break Christian in that first set. 
but I she only won two games. That makes her, her own service stats from that set even worse. Okay, easy hold. I'm surprised I haven't checked the set one stats yet. Maybe I checked them before I got involved in the match. Which is likely. So there was some pressure in the last Christian game. She did face a break point. I could just, it's five days after I've traded it, I could just bring up the stats now and have a look at the uh, the set one stats from just trying to use the information that's in the video. Can I can easy hold. This is a percentage fairly low, 44% for Christian in this set. Five from nine on second serve in this set. Okay, easier hold than the previous service game. That's pretty solid for both. Slightly better for Gadecki because Christian's got first serve percentage of just 47%. And she's only winning half her points on second serve. So I'm still hopeful that Gadecki's going to get a nose in front. Now when I've laid the first set winner, I usually exit if the set gets to 4 all without a break. Obviously we're getting close to that now. Market can get pretty erratic after that, after that score. Which is nice if it goes your way, if it doesn't the red can be a little bit bigger than it needs to be.
and long term it's usually unless i've got a really good reason to stay in as a long term tactic it works pretty well When I did trade it, I just hit record, so I was recording audio as well. Um, I've got a hit piece in, I haven't said anything yet. I think maybe in the second match I did make a comment. So that might help me out for this commentary. Generally, it was traded in silence. It does look like Gadecki has really improved his serve in the second set. So it would make life easier if you're going to break here so I don't have to make the decision at four all do I stay in or get out. I would be tempted to stay in if Christian was having more problems on serve. Let's see if I need to make that decision. Not a bit of pressure. Come on, give us a break point. points so am I going to take some liability out be a good idea especially this choice that's a break Now, having watched that set, would, would I risk her holding, serving out the set? Or would I just hedge it? I can't remember what I did. can't remember how the set ended.
I'm sure I was tempted to leave it because I've taken a decent chunk of the liability out that will have really improved my break even price. I can feel it looks like I was feeling brave. She has served well in the set, but it obviously adds extra pressure serving for it. I'm sure there was a fine line whether I was going to decide to hedge or stick with it. Looking like a bad option at the minute. Very bailing out. Whoa. Oh, okay. So I've now got oh, I've liabilities out. I've got more green on Christian. Maybe I'm thinking there's a chance that she's going to break back. It's, it's not a bad move, to be fair. Potentially. Although knowing how my look goes, he's probably going to win all the points to serve it out. <laughs> what am I doing now? Okay, what I'm probably thinking there is if she does come back, Christian, I've also got a much better position on her. And if we go into a third set, often the player who's taken the previous set is vulnerable at the start of the second of the third. person who took the previous set is often vulnerable at the start of the next set. So it would be nice if Christian broke back. But Kadeki takes it, so that's fine. Liability is low at 50 quid. Decent position on Christian and quite often, as I said, the player taking the set does just relax a little bit, lose a bit of concentration. End of the set is a good changer of momentum. See if that works this time. would think looking at it now as if I'm trading it now I'd be comparing the set one stats to the set two stats just to see how the two had progressed two players I haven't done it so far As Gadecki only got two games, I think it was only one hold in the first set, because she did break Christian. She's made a massive improvement from the first set. And I would guess that Christian's dropped a little bit, although her first serve is good, 73%. It's just the combination of the low first serve percentage and the low... Well, 46% points one on second serve is about average. Um, it, not quite as good when you look at how many second serves she's having to hit. So we're in set three. 
looking for a better start from Christian. Did on the face two break points in the second set broken once just the one break in the set so hopefully she's possibly a little more motivated at the start of this one or a little more switched on Kadeki there must be a sense of, of relief that she came through a tight set and a tight game serving for the set. Any bit of pressure. Was I not even looking at the stats? Still got it on set two. What are you doing? She's got game point. And gets the hold. So I'd say if Gadecki is going to be vulnerable in this set, it's going to be in the first couple of service games. Most likely the first one. I did edit out some of the gaps between um, where they were having a change of ends. Okay, so I've got a bit of pressure. 1530. Remember, I was favouring Gadecki to take it, so I'm not sure. I don't remember. <sighs> How long I stayed with this position. I know I'll have been looking for a pretty early um, break for Christian, ideally. Certainly, if Gadecki had couple of easy sorry a couple of early holds in this set then my reason for being on Christian is pretty much diminished 
as a favour Gideki pretty much. So there's been a bit of pressure in this one, 15.30 down, she's got a game point. Double fault takes it to juice. Second serve. Break by another double fault. Seven double faults in the match so far. So do I wait for the break? My ability is low, so I'm sure I was tempted, and I do seem to be staying in. Awesome. One eight three now trading at one thirty five ish. And looking at it now, I would say a hedge and then lay Christian. What did I do? What am I doing? I think I'm hedging. Looking at the amount. 181. And lay. Good lad. Now what I don't want is Christian now to run away with the set. Still got a bit of profit if she does. Not sure how long I stayed with this. If this is an easy hold, I would think I'd be hedging. The reason I've done that, the um, stats for somebody being broken back when they go ahead in the third set over the last two years for WTA, I think it's either 52 or 53%. So better than a coin toss. And as I've been able to do it risk-free, definitely worth a go. And I favoured Gadecki pretty much. But if there's no pressure in this game, I would think I'd be hedging. I know while I was trading this one, there was another match at the same tournament that was getting to a stage where I was interested in getting involved. I 
I must be getting old. I can't remember what happens here. Which way is it going? Break point. We must have been thinking about either hedging or at least moving a bit more green onto Christian. Just short of 600 on Gadecki's ladder. Not a great price to be shifting, but should have done it. Serve. Why I wasn't looking at the set three stats, I don't know. I was doing other things at the same time, which is why there wasn't a commentary, a live commentary. Because she's missed um, a break chance in this game and I'm looking at another match to get involved in, I would think I hedge after this game. So I did have a chance for a bigger profit. I think she's missed her chance though. Pretty sure I'll be hedging now. Yeah. So not a bad result. Could have been better, but Pretty decent. So I'm now moving over to uh, the other match that I mentioned. See there, Zoo against Kessler. I think I was favouring Kessler to win. Um, liquidity not amazing. So Kessler's just taken second set so similar to the situation in the previous match because Kessler's just taken the set looks like it was a tight one just looking at the stats um, you'd imagine that Kessler improved her stats she hasn't see I'm just flicking between the two her stats are about the same but so was much worse in that second set but because the second set was close um, and as i said in the previous match the player taking the set is often vulnerable at the start of the next set i've laid kessler i'm sure i favored kessler to win pretty much um Definitely. I've been trying to look at ways of predicting a third set. And the, the thing that's working best at the moment is what I've just mentioned several times. Player being vulnerable at the start of the next set when they've taken the previous one.
I'm not sure why I didn't have the match video on for either of these. It's something I do occasionally. You will get people saying you should never trade a match when you haven't got a match video. If anything happened or there's a long delay or a medical timeout, I've got the stream available if I need it. Can be a bit of a distraction, especially if I'm doing other things at the same time. Okay, here we go. It was a bit of a brave move as uh, Zoo didn't have a great set on serve in that second one. It looks like it's been a tight match. Just listening, listening to the comments that I made at the time, uh, Kessler's stats got worse in that second set. But because Zoo was so much worse. It was perhaps more... Zoo. We should stop whispering on him here. Um, yeah, I'll stop talking now. Yeah, shut up. Um, it was more Zoo lost the set rather than Kessler took it. So Zoo can rally a little bit. I've kept liability low because I was I was torn there between my pre-match assessment and the fact that Kessler has been poor in both sets, whereas at least Zoo has had one set where she served well. A decent game for Zoo. So hopefully a bit of pressure in this next game. Nice uh, price move just for that one hold. So just listening to the comments that I made at the time, um, I was expecting Kessler to come under pressure here. Hasn't served well in either set. In the other match, Christian had gone five love up.
But it's quite a similar situation to the previous match. My favourite player lost the first set, took the second. And then I'm looking for them to struggle at the start of the third. But as I said during the previous one, they're more likely to be vulnerable early on, so the first couple of service games. So we have got a little bit of pressure. point Saves it. Second break point. Oh, somebody guessed that uh, Zoo had broken. Back in at 1.43, that I'm sure they wish they hadn't. Unless they get lucky. Third break point. Now the worry is that if Kessler were to hold, how is Zoo uh, going to handle having wasted three break points? So obviously I would prefer to take this one. Got second serve. I'll get the break. And 
Oh, again. I would think I would hedge. No, what am I doing? Well, I'm not hedging and laying, I'm just laying for 500. Free bet on Kessler. Just having a look who won this match. Pretty sure Kessler did, but I am. What's the date? Twelve. Sue so has been a set and a break up at least a couple of times. Now Kessler did take this set. Pretty sure I wasn't there till the end. You would think the crowd, if there was any, had a challenger early in the week. Any crowd would be on Kessler's side. Yeah, I have cheated a little bit. I've brought up the point-by-point uh, point record from this set. Still don't remember exactly what I did. But I would imagine... Kessler is going to break here. To hedge and move on. It's obviously a free bet on the player that I favoured to win. I kind of remember what I did. And I was also doing the research on other matches, which is obviously a big distraction. I would think I'm just going to hedge and move on. I'm just, at the time, I was saying exactly the same do I hedge or do I give a chance to hold? Bit of a spoiler alert that. The next two games are also breaks of serve. So hopefully I hedge. So a couple of decent matches. Hope that's been interesting. I'll see you on the next video.